Hi there, everybody. My name is Kate, and welcome to my channel, Trinity Awakens Naturally. So I went through um, maybe a week or 10 days ago, I don't even remember, two weeks ago, recently, I went through a plant medicine ceremony using ayahuasca, um, and I'm speaking to that. So this isn't a series, just the follow-up. It took me a few days to really wrap my mind around the whole experience, um, even though I did make a video that was between the two nights of it. Um, that second night had a whole lot more intense information that has just taken me a few days. You know, I imagine that one's going to be winding down and, you know, processing for me for quite some time. And today is Mother's Day um, on the calendar here in the United States. Um, it's Mother's Day. However, this is relevant any day of the year, of course, or any year that it is. Um, it's relevant when it's relevant <laughs> that Mother's Day represented something very different to me this year because um, plant medicine comes in from Gaia, right? And so ayahuasca is generally understood to be Mother Aya um, and is a very feminine and very... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stern medicine, but very kind medicine, very beautiful, compassionate, loving. It's She's a, a very um, skilled teacher, um, not unkind at all. There's nothing in the divine that is unkind. Um, it just can be really harsh to have to face the facts of what has happened in our lives, what has been done to us, and what we've done to other people, acting out of that old world wounding that is um, really coming up for a lot of people, you know. Um, and today, uh, Mother's Day, you know, um, this has a different meaning for me, you know, as a mother, as having a mother, you know, um, that there was a lot of wounding in the, the mother area, both as one and as having a mother. And so, you know, I realized today that though I can't really say that I understand everything about, you know, my whole history and what all of that was, I did experience something today with Mother Aya and Kuan Yin, you know, the Blessed Mother Mary, um, the female figure, divine feminine, which is the healing presence that it has been needing to be brought in, you know, that nurturing, that compassion, that kindness, that not mean mother, but the sternness of we, we're going to do this now, we need to get this done. You know, that's a very different energy than um, our father energy, our divine masculine Divine Mother is really where the seed of creativity happens. It's it's the that nurturing, growing the seed, you know, growing the baby within us, whether we've, you know, ever uh, born a baby or not, or whether we have the capacity or to or not. We all carry the divine masculine and divine feminine, and so we have those aspects within us. And I did not realize until today, you know, celebrating the the day as in receiving that kindness from a loving Universal Mother that part of it is about growing that seed within of what am I birthing out here into the world and how can I do that in a pure state of being so that I'm not being, you know, tragically affected by the ways that mother didn't show up, father didn't show up, so-and-so didn't show up. I mean, we all have a list a mile long of all the people that have disappointed us, don't we? I mean, that is kind of the story of most human beings on this planet. I don't know anybody that wasn't disappointed by someone, you know, in their lifetime. That's kind of the patterning of the planet and the old world wounding. It's just a matter of how deeply we were wounded and how it affected us and how we are dealing with that or not dealing with that as to, you know, how much are we actually acting out of that wounding. And so part of using the plant medicine and coming to really a great, beautiful space with it today is that, you know, I don't have to worry about the human faces out here representing mother or, you know, any of that, those complicated relationships that if we pull up into that space of, you know, divine mother, however we see her and divine feminine energy, that we can really begin to understand that mothering, compassionate and kind energy in a very different way. And perhaps we can receive that compassion that we may not have received, but that we have the ability to give to ourselves, you know, um, and plant medicine has been for me, one of the best ways for me to really connect with that energy. I could feel it in the, the woods and the mountains. I can really feel it when I'm there. However, that was just like a superpower of zip, you know, drink this little drink right here. <laughs> And it, it got raw and real. I'm not going to say, you know, it wasn't raw and real. However, it took me to a, an even more transcendent place that once I land there, 
once I could really feel that grace and compassion and kindness and, you know, the, the majesty of Divine Mother, um, it really, it gives me at least that target for, I know what that feels like now, now, and I can reach for that again, and I can find it more easily. Um, the less that I look out here, you know, for that to be the perfect expression of that, it already was not, which is why, you know, it's been so painful. So how about I, you know, recreate that magical space within me, excuse me, um, recreate that magical space within me by knowing I've experienced this, I've been brought to it, and I know that my mind has already felt it, my body has already registered what that feels like. And so I don't have to go out trying to find people that will match that. I can be that and will automatically attract that to me. And I may also attract people that are desperately in need of, you know, mothering type energy. And the kindness and compassion of being able with divine mother i learned you know through the ayahuasca experience that this isn't about you know meeting every need in terms of what i think i need as a child you know i was rolling around on my mat hard with you know some some pretty big tantruming stuff like no this isn't fair and then you know just really having quite a minute and i was allowed to sit in it you know until i was done and could get those you know, feelings out of the injustice and the rage and the, how could you, this isn't fair. How dare you, you know, all of those things to get those out of my system and really express them. I mean, it was, it was unpleasant. Um, however, it was a safe forum for me to be able to say and experience those things in a brand new way that I could then really embrace and take in the idea that it's okay it is truly okay that you feel that kind of rage and that you, you know, are cursing at the universe and telling your God, your guides, your everything that this is just stupid. It doesn't exist. It isn't real. You know, there's no such thing. And, uh, you know, just going through all of the stages of whatever all that mess was. I mean, it was pretty all over the place. And yet those were bottled up emotions that, you know, it took me to a place with mother you know, with that divine presence and that compassion that going ahead and have your tantrum, going ahead and have your, you know, terrible, oh my God, you know, the shock and the, oh no, you know, all of it. Let's go ahead and get all of that out. Let's express that you're safe to do that. And I'm here loving you regardless of what you say or do, Katie Poo, I'm right here with you. Even in those moments when you think I'm not, even when you're so angry and you're shouting and screaming and carrying on at me, you know, I can handle that. You know, Mother Aya is just that kind of compassion because she is an extension of Mother Gaia and Mother Gaia is merely an extension of divine energy in the upper rooms and the upper realms in purest form of God energy, you know, or universal energy. It's just a matter of how are we experiencing that? How are we taking that in? What are we calling that? And my soul was really needing to understand the female energy in a very different way that um, even though we come and we're bagged up, you know, in our bodies and we identify, you know, however we identify, it's truly the balance of finding divine masculine and divine energy and really balancing those two and understanding what each side is and how that expresses through us. You know, I am a woman. However, I found that, you know, I ride a lot in masculine energy. And even though I know how to, you know, be soft and, you know, look real loving and kind and stuff, um, it's not always coming across fully like that to the um, greatest extent that it could because of wounding, you know, my own wounding. Um, both giving and receiving, you know, having received wounding and also creating wounding out here based on that, you know, and it's just, it's a cycle that is being brought up, you know, many people are in ex extreme excruciating amounts of pain, but it's being brought up for a divine mother, you know, at all those upper levels to come down and really infuse into us the ability to have compassion and kindness for ourselves, you know, to reach out to one another in healthier ways that we can really see and understand and embrace the pain of others, you know. Um, so I, even though I was on my mat rolling around and, you know, pretty sure that I hated everybody and I just don't want to be here anymore and, uh, you know, feeling all of that, no, there's nothing. This is just a void, you know, the people that are atheists are onto something. Um, and yet finally being able to get all of that out, you know, in that session, not like it was the last one, but <laughs> I've cried since and I'm sure I'll cry again, that getting all of it out at that level and then feeling that just that beautiful presence and sitting in the presence of people 
women particularly, though there were men too, the women that were um, the, the shaman woman and the people who were tending the five of us in this experience, they were just so mothering, you know, and I told the woman, she was looking me in my face and I realized I feel a little bit uncomfortable with this. You know, I'm used to it being the conversation being a certain way and I feel very vulnerable and, you know, I'm feeling really vulnerable in a whole new way of vulnerability that I don't know that I really like this. And, you know, she was touching my face and really just caressing my face and saying, you know, it's, you're really, it's okay. You're beautiful. All of these things. And I realized, you know, as I was talking to her that I understand how to be a comforting mother, you know, or a compassionate kind, you know, person, how to provide that. However, I kind of suck at how that is to receive that and know that it's really okay to receive that as well as to give that and that you're going to give it more purely and more holistically now that you understand both sides of that and see where the deficit was falling and not being able to really show up, you know, the whole way in my masculine or my feminine in a, a very pure way, you know, and these women were fabulous. I told the, the shaman woman, um, the medicine woman that, you know, thank you so much for being such, such a kind, you know, mother figure to me and sister figure, female figure to me that has always been, you know, very competitive and weird in my mind. Like, I don't know how to respond to this, you know, to women and communication and relationships has always been like just awkward because I didn't understand my own imbalance of the man, ma masculine and feminine. And I wasn't reading properly the the imbalance in other people either that I, I don't know who we are. I don't know what we are. What role do you play here? You know, and understanding it from a different point of view, both from the spiritual side, which is downloading and, you know, all kinds of astral experiences and also having the 3d bodies of people who are very well grounded and, you know, tending these sessions and teaching that, yeah, you can have your rolling around on the mat, you know, and throwing up and <laughs> cursing and carrying on, you know, and having these experiences. And we're going to be very loving and kind through that. That's what we're here to do. That's what we do. That's what we provide, you know, for you and with you is because we need this too, you know, so this is a community of people that better fit my needs. And I, I really, you know, I, I understood it better that it's so, so healing. We get, when we get into the tribes where we, you know, truly are with our soul tribe, our soul vibe, the people that really truly can allow us to stand in whatever we are in and witness that without giving a shade, without throwing, you know, stank our direction or looking at us weird or saying, you know, this, that nobody tried to convince me that I was wrong. Nobody told me I was being blasphemous or hateful or anything. Nobody said, you know, well, you should be grateful. Nothing. They allowed me to have my experience, to witness it, to witness the extreme pain. You know, that takes a true warrior to look at another person's pain and see them walling around in that and know the horrific stuff that, you know, people go through, witness that and not take on any of that baggage and also not hop in on, you know, trying to stop that from happening to allow, you know, that whole process to move itself until, you know, suddenly that state of surrender of, okay, I fought, you know, the good fight and told you off and, you know, said everything that I needed to say, I got it all off my chest, you know, and now I'm, I'm surrender. I don't have anything else I can do. And I'm so grateful to you. Um, it was just quite an interesting experience and it has really made mother's day today feel a whole lot different that, you know, the divine feminine is the, healing presence that is coming in in that age of Aquarius that, and it doesn't matter if it's in a, a female body or a male body, you know, anatomy or how we identify, it's a matter that that compassion and kindness, you know, the divine feminine, however we're packaged, it doesn't matter, you know, and however we're identifying also doesn't matter. It's knowing that we can reach into that space of divine mother or divine feminine and be able to be compassionate and kind with ourselves and thus be able to reach out and be kind and compassionate with others in those spaces that are appropriate to do so, you know, and know the boundaries. And it's, it's a lifelong journey for most of us to figure out where we are in that process. But man, um, it, I would highly recommend to anybody, you know, that plant medicine is not something to be poo-pooed. It's also not something to be avoided necessarily. It's a very powerful process that has taken me 
um, probably about two years to really be able to work myself up to being able to withstand what I was going to need to look at in the ayahuasca um, ceremony itself, you know, and using some other psychedelics in a different way, you know, in other times of my life, because it does bring, bring me to my knees. It has brought me to my knees. And I'm just so grateful this Mother's Day that, you know, um, Mother's Day was representing something very different in a very spiritual um foundation that's being built within me that it's okay for you to identify your own spiritual nature and your divine feminine and to play with that a little bit more and understand that better and to you know you, you can let your divine masculine sit down for a minute and allow that comfort and that compassion to come in and really understand from the perspective of a very wounded and injured child that every single human being wants to be loved on they want to be rocked they want to be soothed you know they wanted to have had that experience with their parents and particularly in the mother bond they wanted to have had that if they didn't and many of us just didn't because our parents didn't receive that and so it's very difficult to give something that we have no idea what it is if we've not received it you know it's not necessarily instinctive for people to be you know doting and compassionate and all of that even if we are mothers so a great deal of forgiveness for self and for you know the mother figures in my life and the women in my life but you know where would we have learned this if we were learning something that wasn't that then we were learning that you know and where would we have picked that up and how would we be able to reach in and really embrace and understand the vulnerability and be tender with that if we haven't been able to really reach in and deal with um, our own child within our own wounded selves, you know, if we haven't been able to reach that, it's going to be really, you know, not impossible, but it's going to make it really difficult to know how to reach out and, and touch other people as well, including the children, you know, whether we have children or not, we are all children to the universe. We're all children of the universe and um, any place that's wounded in us that we haven't addressed, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it can make us act a little bit out of turn, a whole lot of out, out of turn, you know, sometimes depending on the wounding and how long it's been suppressed. But, you know, it was just, it was such a beautiful reminder of that experience. And I is going to be teaching me, Mother I is going to be teaching me for a very long time, I feel certain. Um, and I'm so happy, you know, when people want to know more about it because um, plant medicines are very powerful and they are full of um, divine mother and Gaia energy that just it it speaks and resonates so beautifully to all the parts you know of us as human beings no matter how we identify to the wounded parts period you know she steps in and says I see you you know come as you are and throw yourself on the floor and throw up and you know fart burp do what you need to do scream you know be you be every essence of you so that when you can get all of that out when you have purged all of that out and you're ready then i am here to help fill you up with what is the truth of you no matter what those messy little humans have been doing you know that's not me you know and i can help you by replacing that and replenishing you with something pure i can help you to deal with those messy places out here and the messy people to be much kinder and understanding because they got messy parents too more than likely so um anyway i hope that this has been helpful for you and i hope that you enjoy your day no matter what part of the day you're in and remember get within your skin because you're divine oh you're divine it is so so beautiful and so so fine and you know both masculine and feminine um most of us ride you know pretty well um pretty well understanding our masculine parts you know um it's okay if we check in with divine mother and you know divine feminine and find out how can i be softer and kinder and vulnerable with myself and then have that divine masculine to really keep us protected as we visit those places and you know call to gaia and to universal energy whatever it is that we rely on to help us to really remember those places so that we feel safe enough to be vulnerable and open up and heal the wounding of the old world you know we're into new earth now so anyway as i said get within your skin because you're divine it is so so beautiful so so gorgeous and so totally fine Take care of your beautiful selves and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, my friends.